Hello fellow Sudokans and welcome to Zen and the Art of the Guardian Sudoku Puzzle for Friday the 2nd of July 2021. Uh, first up, um, if you're looking at the screen and thinking this is not the printed version, uh, you're right, uh, it's not and the reason is is because my printer refuses to print uh, it, since it doesn't have any magenta. Even though I'm only asking it to print in black and white, it won't work. So uh, it's too early to uh, find any shops that are open. And anyway, I can't actually go outside because I'm still surrounded by water uh, after some torrential rain last night, which has flooded my garden. Uh, you can maybe hear some sweeping outside. That's people sweeping up some rainwater. Um, and uh, I shall have to attempt something similar uh, after I finish this um, but for now I'm going to do the screen version on screen version recording like this uh, for today's Guardian puzzle this is the Guardian uh, um, I've put the numbers into a online so into an online solver and uh, the, it is listed as hard Friday's hard level puzzle uh, in the news I see the OECD has agreed uh, to uh, a historic agreement, people are calling it um, the greatest international tax agreement for a hundred years, uh, whereby um, countries have agreed uh, to have a minimum corporate tax rate of 15% and uh, whereby um, money uh, tax revenues will be um, redistributed to countries where um, where the where the business activity was rather than uh, where they are where their corporate headquarters is based 15% um, uh, doesn't seem particularly high to me um, when you compare with uh, some places but um, one of the major holdouts is Ireland which has an even lower tax rate than that and, and in effect a very very tiny proportion of tax uh, so lots of companies have um, drifted to Ireland over the years because of the preferential treatment that they get there. Um, but really, uh, this is too important. You know, countries really need to understand uh, the, the competitive part of this is really not doing them um, much good. So let's hope this agreement improves things, but let's hope that it's just a start because really more, much more needs to be done and wealth distribution needs to go much greater to uh, other countries as well as just uh, repatriating the money back to where those corporate um, entities are headquartered for example the USA I mean much of this tax redistribution will probably go back to America or to some uh, European countries I guess anyway shall we try our uh, Sudoku puzzle for today seems rather weird um, doing it on the screen the Guardian but um Anyway, I should give it my best shot. Um, if my voice sounds a little hoarse today, as I said, um, last night we had some very bad rain, which kept me awake. Uh, after the rain, uh, the sound of toads croaking all night long uh, from behind my house here um, kept me uh, awake most of the night. So that's why I may not sound so... Um, um, my voice may sound rather croaky this morning. Right. Um, okay, so the first thing that I see, uh, a, quickly, a quick explanation of the rules, of course. Okay, we have rows across containing nine squares, columns down containing nine squares, and we try to fit numbers one to nine in each of them, and we have these blocks, and we try to fit numbers one to nine in these blocks. And we use the rule of uniqueness because there is only uh, a total of nine squares uh, in the row, column, or block means that numbers one to nine have to appear once only. So uh, this nine blocks up here, and this nine blocks across here. So that will give us two squares where nine will go. Well, what good is that, you say? if you are new to Sudoku and if you are not you will know that it has some relevance because it means that 9 now cannot appear further down in this column because we know we've restricted it to these two squares even though we don't know where it goes 
we know it will appear here. So that means that there cannot be any other 9s down here. So when we consider this block at the bottom, we know that 9 can't be down here, 9 can't be down here. This has to be a 9, our first number of the day. And the sweeping's getting louder. Let's hope they sweep outside my place with a bit of luck. Um, what else do we see? sure if I'm being particularly um, um, uh, uh, short-sighted today, but ah, I see something, okay. So the eight blocks across here, this eight blocks across here, and this eight blocks up here, so this has to be an eight here, right? Um, not much else there for eights. I, I know it limits 8 along here, and 8 will be limited to these two squares, but that's not particularly helpful just yet. This is a very slow start for me. I think um, I prefer to do this on pen and paper, but um, anyway, let's uh, try to focus a bit more clearly. Um, ah, okay. <laughs> Excuse me. Right. Now, you have to uh, bear with me a, a little here while I explain this, but seven blocks across here, right, and seven blocks up here. So seven will appear in one of these two squares. <coughs> Excuse me. So the seven will block down here, and this will not be a seven. The seven here will block down here, and this will not be a seven. The seven here will block down here, and this will not be a seven. So in this row, we are blocking down here, here, here here and here that leaves us just with two squares here and clearly this seven means a seven can't go there and so that is our seven and now the useful thing about doing it on screen is the highlighted uh, yellow squares it's easier to kind of see the blocking pattern up here from the seven seven blocking up here and seven blocking across here so we know that seven goes there and let's bring this seven across like this this seven across here and this seven up here we know that seven goes there Now we also can place a 7 here, and if you're wondering why, uh, it's because this 7 means 7 can't go here, or 7 here indeed if you like, can't go here. This 7 means 7 can't go here, 7 here can't go there, so 7 has to go here. That will leave us with a 7 in this square and this square and this square and this square, but we can't do anything else about them for now, so we'll just hold off on that. Uh, we also know that 2 must go in this square here, and I'll show you why, because look, this 2 blocks up here, meaning 2, actually we can place 2 already, 2 blocking up here, 2 blocking down here, so that is in fact a 2, which will block along here, right, so that can't be a 2, this means that can't be a 2, so 2 has to appear here in this column. This 8 now blocking down here means that that's the only square left available for 8. 8 blocking down here, 8 blocking down here, and 8 blocking across here gives us an 8 here. 8 blocking across and across gives an 8 here. I mean, I think this might be easier for you to see at home, um, the computer version, you know, when you highlight numbers like this, 
it, it, it draws them out. It's sometimes a little easier to see, I suppose. Um, but there's something about actually writing the numbers on the paper, which I rather enjoy. Anyway. Um, all right, the missing numbers in this column are 3 and 4, but we can't tell which is which just yet, so we'll hold off on that. Actually, okay, uh, I think I've seen something quite interesting. Uh, since this is a hard level puzzle, I think I'm going to uh, do something a bit different, something I don't normally do for the, the Guardian, but um, let's look at something. Okay, right now, okay, if we consider this row across here, right? Now, uh, the missing numbers are 3 and 4 that we know are in these two squares here, right? And uh, because this row doesn't, this column doesn't yet have 3 or 4. So that means that the other m numbers within this row, we have 4 numbers missing, so 3 and 4, but the other missing numbers are 5 and 6, okay? Now, clearly, 5 and 6 are in this block, which means that this square here cannot be a 5 or a 6, right? But when we look at this square here, we know that this can't be a 5 or 6 either. So we know that this square and this square must contain 5 or 6. Okay, 5 or 6 must go here and here. That leaves us with two other squares, this square and this square, which must contain 3 or 4, right? The numbers that were missing in this column. So we know that this square and this square must be 3 or 4. But look, we have a 3 down here which means that this can't be a 3, so that's got to be a 4, and that's got to be a 3. The last number now we know up here is a 4. Okay. So um, that's slightly more unusual. Remember that 5 and 6 are in these squares here, but we don't know which is which just yet. Um, if that was, uh, if you're new to Sudoku, um, then and that was a bit tricky, just go back and, and watch it again until you uh, I'm happy with it. Uh, okay, so missing numbers here are 1 and 9, but so this 1 will block down here, so there cannot be a 1 down here, and this 1 blocks across here, this 1 blocks across here, so that's got to be a 1 there. Uh, I haven't died, by the way. I am looking around the grid. You can't see me, um, but I promise you I am not sleeping. I am looking. And I'm seeing lots of pairs, but I'm not seeing... Uh, any others that I can get immediately? Hmm. Uh, okay, so uh, let's have another think. 
so let's see what's missing in this column here. So we have one, two, three. We don't have four. Four is blocking here. Uh, we don't have five. Five is blocked up here. And we don't have nine. Ah, okay. So right, I think we're missing four, four num uh, three numbers. So we, we have this square, this square, and this square. And I believe our missing numbers are 4, 5, and 9. Okay, but look, we have 4 and 9 here in the same row, so that's got to be a 5. Okay. Uh, now we can see this 9 blocks this square here, so that's got to be our 4, and that's got to be our 9. The nine blocks across here, this nine blocks across here, that'll give us a nine there. Uh, nine is one of these two squares here, which will block down here, and so nine must appear here. Uh, nine blocking across here, across here, and down here gives us a nine in that square there. Uh, we just got two squares left and two squares here where nines can go. We can't do anything else, right? Okay, that's better. Uh, what's missing along here? Well, immediately I can see a 3. We don't have a 3, but I can see the 3 here blocking, so that has to be a 3. The missing number now is 5. Uh, this 5 blocks along here and gives us a 5 in this square here. Uh, I think it's 4 and 7 that are missing here, and this 7 means that can't be a 7, so 7 goes there. 4 goes there. One number missing here now along here, and it's a 2 in that row. Okay, now this 2 blocks up here, that 2 blocks across there, this 2 blocks down. So we can in fact put in a 2. Have we finished 2s yet? Are they complete? I think they are. Okay. Uh, right, what else do we have? Uh, okay, so 7 blocking this square, 7 blocking down here, that's a 7. Last number along here now is a 4. Okay. Um, we can't get this, we'll limit 4 to this square and this square and this square and this square, but that's not good for us just yet. What else do we have here? 1, 2, 3, 4, we're missing a 5 and a 6 in these two squares, but no intersecting 5s or 6s, so we'll come back to that later. Ah, oh, but it doesn't matter because in this column this well, 5 here means that can't be a 5 and there's a 5 up here which means that that can't be a 5 so that's got to be a 5 uh, and this was, what was it, 6? Okay. Um so what's missing up here now? Six and three, I think. Six and three. Okay, no, not can't can't tell just yet. So let's uh, continue on. Uh, we must be able to get this square here, right? Because we know the missing two here. This the missing square here and here are one and nine. So we can just count through to find this number here. So we go one. Two, three, four, five. There's no six, so this has to be a six. And if you want to make sure, seven, eight, and nine is in one of these two squares, right? So that's how we can work that out. Um, okay. So our 4 here blocks along here, and this 4 blocks this square here, so that's a 4 there. Uh, these have to be 1 and 3, um, which we can't tell just yet. Uh, we know 1 will have to appear in one of these two squares now. Um, a 3 is... 3 blocks this square, so 3 is here or here. 
And then the other missing number is 6, but we don't know about that. Okay, so um, I'm not sure we should, where we should shift our attention. It should be here, I think. Okay, so there's a 5 here blocking up here, and there's a 5 blocking this square. So 5 goes there. That means we can put a 5 here now because of this 5 blocking along here and here. And finally, we can put our final 5 there. That, I believe, is the whole entirety of 5s. Um, now, there's a 1 here, which means that this square here can't be 1 because of this here. So 1 must appear there. And the last number in this row is a 3. Okay. Uh, this 3 blocks down here, this 3 blocks up here, and that will give us a 3 there. Uh, the last number in this block now is a 3. So that goes there. We know that these are 1 and 3. Okay, this has to be 1 and 3. This 1 has got to be down here. Because look, intersecting 1's here. Okay, the missing number here now is uh, 6, I believe. And the missing number in this row is uh, 6. Uh, this 3 up here means this can't be a 3, so it's got to be a 1. And that's got to be a 3 there. This 1 blocking all the way down here, 1 blocking all the way down here, will give us a 1 this square and therefore one blocking across here gives us a one the last number here was a nine if you remember uh, this nine blocks across here this nine blocks down so the nine will go here there's one number left in this column one two three four five six seven, and it's an eight so in goes the eight uh, this eight blocks across here eight blocks across here this is an eight here uh, one number missing here, one, two, three, four, it's a six, I think, okay, yeah, six, okay, this six blocks this square here, so that's a six, and that's a six there, the last number here is a four, uh, one number completed uh, for the puzzle, but as soon as I fill in this number, which is one, two, it's a four, so as soon as I fill in this as a digit four, uh, the screen will disappear, as I warn you in advance, I know what I'll do. I'll put it in as a candidate. There we are. So there you can see that is the last number in case you're watching without sound or something. But as soon as I place digit four, uh, it will tell me congratulations. That's the end of today's puzzle. Um, so I'd like to say please subscribe to the channel. Uh, tomorrow I shall have uh, some more laser toner and be able to print the um, print the. Uh, Sudoku puzzle and go back to doing tomorrow's expert level puzzle on paper. Um, any other puzzles I'm likely to do on screen anyway. And that's it. So thank you. Bye bye. Hope to see you again.